Well, happy Canada Day to all the Blue Jay fans and, and Canadians out there, but holy sweet mother, what a ball game. An absolute snooze fest <laughs> between the Jays and Astros today, more particularly the Blue Jays because they lost 3-1 to the Astros in game one of this four-game series. Before I go any further, I have a few things I want to tell you guys about. First things first, if you haven't hit that subscribe button and you want to join the misery train that is the Toronto Blue Jays, hit that like button and that subscribe button, of course, to join the family and help me get through these, these miserable years that are ahead of us. So, please do so. If not, hey, it's totally all right. Uh, last thing I want to say before we get into the game itself. Uh, starting tomorrow, okay, videos will not be here. As I mentioned at the very end of the last video, uh, I will be going out west. I'm going to Vancouver, so I might be hitting up the Vancouver Canadians game. So if you want, to, you guys want to meet, that'd uh, be cool. It'd be cool to see, say hello to some of you guys. But if you see me around, do not be shy to say hello. I'll be in Vancouver until Thursday night. Drive down to Seattle because we're seeing the Seattle Mariners, uh, T-Mobile, or see the Jays in Seattle at T-Mobile Park for that uh, three-game set. I'm probably gonna go to all three games. We have Friday at least. Uh, but knowing the group of friends I'm going with, yeah, we'll probably go to all three. Um, so if you have, like I said, you see me there, do not be afraid to say hello because I would, it, it tickles me pink to, uh, to say hello to people who, who have seen my stuff. So it means a lot. So, all right, let's get into the game itself and then I can wrap this stupid thing up and start packing. All right. Now the J stink. Okay, that's it for the video, guys. No, and I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I mean, I could do that, but I'm not going to do that. The back-to-back -back games now for the Blue Jays where they score one run on uh, four hits. That's it. So, you've scored two runs on eight hits in the last two games combined. <laughs> yeah, that's no good. Albeit the offense recently has been better, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, whatever you... Sure. Okay, great. They're not consistently good. We knew they weren't going to be. They had a stretch of great ball, and it was fun to watch, right? Fun scoring a lot of runs. But then reality sets in, and you're like, all oh, right, I forgot how bad this offense was. Now, going into play today, we got the news. Vladdy's not going to play. We're like, great. The dude never misses a game, gets hit on the hands, and oh, can't play on Canada Day. Like, just make it worse, right? Please. And uh, IKF, one of your most clutch guys, not in the lineup today because he has some knee thing. I don't know. Uh, so that, that's already a disaster waiting to happen going into the ball game. And then the game, game itself was a complete disaster. The Jays had two big opportunities, right? Bases loaded, one out, twice in this game. You get nothing. It is what it is, man. <laughs> I've gotten to a point now where if they win, hey, great. I'll talk about it. I'll enjoy it. But if they lose, they'll be like, eh, whatever. Not going to lose sleep over it, right? Because it's not worth it. It really isn't, but it would be nice to see somebody get a nice, uh, get a clutch hit once in a while. Albeit the second time around, George Springer hit a line drive right at Bregman, and then Varsho hit a one hop at Rocket right at second base. So a little tough luck there, but regardless, you got to find a score at least one. And and in those instances, I believe one was a zero zero tie at the time, and the other one was you were down one nothing. So you needed those hits, you didn't get them, and it was pretty pathetic. Yariel Rodriguez got the start on Canada Day. Dude has not started many games in the big leagues. Was going to start in Boston. Rain out happened there. So we're like, holy crap. You know, <laughs> dude hasn't pitched in a while. And he goes out there today against an Astros lineup who's feeling pretty good about themselves. And he basically shut them down. And I was very impressed with his, with his stuff today other than one pitch. The hang and break of all the Jeremy Pena in the top of the fifth inning that he put into the uh, Jays bullpen. Other than that pitch... He had a great day. He was fantastic. And uh, we'll get more into his start in a, in a, in a second here. Jordan Alvarez went deep in the top of the ninth inning to basically call it curtains on the game and put them up 3 nothing. Sure, Ernie Clement did his fourth home run, blah, 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 made it 3-1, and that was it. Done. Curtains. All right. Let's get into these player stats because there ain't much to talk about, so we can move on pretty quick. Uh, Spencer Horowitz went one for four. I mean, hey, and he started one of those, or no, it was Barger who started the rally with the with the leadoff walk. I think it was Brian Abreu who was on the mound, and he took a walk. So I'm like, all right, Barger, there we go, bud. And then Spencer Horowitz drilled one down the right field line for a double. Barger ends up at third base. I'm like, oh, the kids are getting it done. Well, if nothing else, that's all I care about, right? And of course, that's when the Springer lines out and Barger with the one hopper and you don't score any runs. But hey, positive sign from those guys at least, right? It's a question mark at the end of that, uh, I guess. Um, yeah. Like I said, George Springer, you know what? He, had, he got the line out there. He hit one to the warning track. Got a 
Good hold of it, just missed it. And then obviously had a base hit in the first, or was it was the first inning or second? I think it was the second inning. So he had a good day. You know, hit the ball hard a lot. I liked what I saw from Georgie, and he got another hit of a fastball. So good to see from him. Ernie Clement, two for four. Sure, he had a home run, then a bloop single. Okay, fine. Four hits for the Blue Jays total. It is not great. Strikeouts, seven. Walks, four. It's whatever. Not great at all offensively. It was painful to watch. Really was. I was kind of in and out. Let's be honest here. Yaro Rodriguez. There we go. Okay, so he got the start. Went six and two thirds. Almost seven inning ball for Yariel Rodriguez. How many pitches did he throw? Uh, 83 pitches through, through six and two thirds. He was great in this ball game. Only allowed two hits, one run, the solo shot. Struck out six and walked two. He was great. A lot of good hitters off balance. Got Jordan Alvarez. To, well, once he got him, then I think he even hit him to the track in the other one. But regardless, he got him out. Uh, six and two thirds, two hits. I mean, he was awesome. There, there's no other way of looking at it. He had the hesitation going. He was confident. And the thing that I like, it's very subtle. And this is being a fan, right? When he was done his outing, and John Schneider comes out, takes him out, and he's coming off the field. The Jays fans give him the standing ovation, and he gives them the, 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 the thank you very much, you know, and the Jays fans get all fired up for it. I'll tell you, as a fan, that's all we that's all we care about, right? You give us a little bit of subtle thank you very much, we'll be like, oh, we love this guy. He's great. The, the, the stiffs that just go down to the, the, you know, don't say a damn thing and go right down into the clubhouse. I'm like, yeah, you guys, you guys are too good for us. No, but I love what Yaryal did. I mean, he deserved it. He was awesome today. Trevor Richards out of the bullpen and inning in the third. Uh, didn't allow a base runner and struck out one. Is he a guy who made me move at the deadline? ERA 249 after the game today. He's been very, very good this season. And Zach Pop. I mean, we talked about this dude maybe being a leverage guy at one point. He went an inning, uh, allowed two hits, two runs, the two-run shot to Jordan Alvarez. Did strike out two, but has an ERA north five and a half now. Just like that. So, it's not great. It really is not great for the Toronto Blue Jays right now. And uh, tomorrow, because they do play again, for God's sakes. And I'll be out west. So I don't know how videos are going to be for you guys. Bear with me a little bit on that. I don't know how the hotel and Airbnb setups are going to be, so... Bear with me. I'm going to try to do videos, but like that cottage one, I might take some time just to enjoy, but we'll see. We'll see how busy I am with stuff. All right. So 707 first pitch at Rogers Center tomorrow night, game two of this uh, four gamer against the uh, Astros. Uh, Jose Barrios gets the ball for the Blue Jays, and it's Spencer Aragetti for the uh, Houston Astros tomorrow night. Uh, on paper, you should win the ball game just because that uh, Aragetti guy has been pretty freaking awful this year, and Jose Barrios has been one of your best starters this season. So we'll see. But is Vladdy going to be back? Is IKF going to be back? Is your offense going to be anemic? We'll see tomorrow night. All right. So you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and not the game because it sucked, hit that like button. I do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. You guys not done so already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, your thoughts on the game. What you like? What you not like from today's game? For the Toronto Blue Jays, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and, of course, TikTok is down below. So follow up there if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you guys probably Tomorrow night, Jays edition, game two of this four gamer against the Astros. Uh, Spencer, Ar Spence, Spencer, Spencer, hey, hold on a minute. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Spencer Arigetti. I don't know, I forgot that already. Versus Jose Barrios at Rogers Center. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and not this game thing because it, it, it was no good. We'll talk to you guys then.